The city of Grand Rapids is looking at creating its own land bank, which is an authority that manages and can develop vacant properties. News 8's Kyle Mitchell explains why the city says the approach will help with the economic development. There are 106 properties across Grand Rapids that are in the state land bank like this one. The city says having local control over the properties will help better address housing and other economic development needs. Vacant or unused properties in Grand Rapids could soon be under the direct authority of a city land bank if a new proposal is approved. We're seeing a potential land bank uh, as a good tool for economic development. Sarah Renero, the economic development director for the city, says the city made an agreement with the state land bank to manage 106 properties. The Kent County Commission voted in December of 2018 to disband its land bank. And that really set in motion for the city a look at our housing strategy. What are we doing? What do we need to do? A state law that went into effect earlier this year allows cities and townships with more than 50,000 residents to establish their own land banks, which are used to manage vacant, unused, abandoned, or blighted properties. The land bank is a economic development tool that can hold property, clear title, quiet title, buy, sell, issue bonds, I really use as a opportunity to activate underutilized property. Prior to the change in the law, Detroit was the only city that could have its own land bank. Grand Rapids says creating its own land bank will streamline the process and better meet the community's needs. I think there's just a, a closer tie to those goals that we've already mapped out. Uh, and the more direct access will just give us some efficiencies on, on managing that. Land banks can help get properties back on the tax rolls to help support city services. They want the public's involvement in deciding the best uses for these properties. We're looking at this really as an administrative step, and we want to take more time to be intentional about really the strategy around it. Raniero expects the city to vote on the proposal within the next couple of months. In Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.